hatched painted lady butterfly. Pretty amazing. Ooh. Hello, little buddy. <laughs> Let's get you some food. Okay, so I can't quite remember when the last update was and where we got got to, but I think we were just going to film the caterpillars turning into their chrysalis. And as of right now, I've got butterflies in my room. They are here, I'll just show you. So here are the painted lady butterflies. They've hatched, or hatched, they've come out of their chrysalis. And I put some fruit down there and some nectar for them. Hello, hello. So, yeah, there they are. They're looking healthy, which is good news. And I've still got three left uh, to come out of the chrysalis. Um, we've got two up on the film set at the moment. Um, basically, I've been sat here for a few hours just waiting for them to come out. So hopefully we're going to also get the caterpillar emerging from the chrysalis on the video, uh, just as I got the caterpillar turning into its chrysalis on video. Um, yeah, as some of you may have noticed, the location in which I've got my butterflies is different, and the wildflowers and everything, it's not the same. So yeah, I did have to travel because I had to come back up to university because I've started filming for my final project at Chester Zoo, as I was saying earlier. And so I had to transport the caterpillars with me in the car. And um, yeah, I mean, they I just transported them in the box that they arrived at my house, to my house in. And, I, you know, they were fine. I put loads of holes in the box, made sure they got plenty of air. We had lots of rest stops. And um, yeah, I mean, as you can see, the butterflies are okay. So they, they obviously don't mind traveling. But yeah, so I'm going to sit here and wait. Hopefully we're going to get that video. And then once they've all come out, probably tomorrow, I'm going to go and release them into the wild. So there's the butterflies over there. Here's the... I was just watching the video of the um, of them morphing, which is pretty cool. Yeah, so there's that. And then we've got the setup here. So yeah, I... Uh, oh, hang on one sec. There's... there they are so I'm just waiting for those to turn into butterflies and then I'll catch them with the butterfly net and put them back in there alright so the time now is approximately half past 12 um, p.m. and I have been sat here watching these caterpillars um, to hopefully turn into into butterflies since three o'clock, uh, three o'clock this afternoon. So um, that's what about eight, eight and a half hours, nearly nine hours now. I've been been watching them. I've been recording constantly, um, and uh, and then deleting it after twenty minutes or so. Uh, once the battery runs out, I've got another one on backup over here on charge, and I've got another one here as well. So I just simply just change the battery when it needs changing. And so yeah, like I say, I'm deleting the footage as well so that the memory card doesn't run out. Um, yeah. So the other the other butterflies, as you can see, have hatched. Um, and we've still got one in there at the back over there. There is one that hasn't hatched. And and then we've got two here, which I'm obviously I'm filming. So I'm not really sure what's gonna happen. I'm thinking now that they're not gonna come out because it wouldn't make much sense for butterflies to hatch during the middle of the night. So I'm sort of thinking now, I've been sat here for a long time. I'm probably going to 
stop filming and get some sleep, wake up tomorrow first thing and continue with with the filming and doing this process so fingers crossed they will come out tomorrow and I will still be able to get it on on camera and they don't come out in the night and I wake up tomorrow and I haven't got any more um, to film in which case I will miss it um, but you know I've got to decide at some point to go to sleep because it's just you know you just got to do it haven't you just, I mean I could stay up all night but it's, it's uh, I'm just not sure it's going to be worth it for me to be honest so yeah fingers crossed they'll still be in their chrysalis uh, when I wake up tomorrow morning now half eight and one of the caterpillars have decided to come out for chrysalis and I've got it on camera <laughs> yes and uh, so yeah so yeah you can see it here it's, it's currently still just chilling on the grass um, the wings are still forming and you can see it right there. so yeah I'm going to get a few shots of it um, whilst the, the wings properly form and um, and sort of stretch out and then after that's happened I'm going to be placing it back into the in the net with the others and obviously I'm going to be giving it some some nectar so yeah awesome I can't believe I got it that was exhausting but we did it. So yeah, I got very lucky. I decided to set my alarm half seven and an hour later one one came out, so ah, I was just so glad that none of them came out in the night when I was asleep. So yeah. Ah, it's just really cool. <laughs> so today is the day when I'm releasing the uh, butterflies into the wild and I've got them with me. A short five minute drive from where I'm staying at uni uh, to this sort of nature nature reserve area. Uh, just, had, just having a quick look to make sure it's got all the right plants that I know that the uh, painted ladies uh, will need in order to survive, such as thistles and uh, nettles and sort of plants like that. Luckily, they do feed on all sorts of different types of plants, which is why they are so widespread. So, yes, this is looking like a really good spot. So let's go get those butterflies. All right, so the butterflies are, uh, the butterflies are getting really excited now. They're all sort of, I can tell they're raring to go um, and so yeah this is the place I've decided to set them free nice open grassland big open field um, so yeah next thing to do open up the butterfly net and let them go I have to say, after having these caterpillars for about a couple of months now, raising them from cat from caterpillars to butterflies, yeah, they're not caterpillars anymore, they're now butterflies. <laughs> I still call them caterpillars. Uh, yeah, it's quite emotional, to be honest. It is quite emotional saying goodbye to the, the butterflies. It's a, it's a weird feeling, <laughs> but it's really nice to see them out here in the wild flying around 
and just living the life they should do. You go, look, there's one love. Off, like literally. But it's just so good. It's just so good to see that. Um, and we've now got. This is. <laughs> They're, they are literally loving it. They are loving the wildlife. Oh, it's just so cool. We've got one more to go. Oh. Well, there we go. The, um, the butterflies are gone. And the butterflies are gone now. And, um, yeah. Oh, it is emotional, actually. I've had them with me this whole time. <laughs> oh. But what's really good about this whole situation is that I raised 10 caterpillars and I set free 10 butterflies. Not a single one of them didn't make it. And they all made it. So I'm just really chuffed because it's the first time I've ever raised caterpillars. Um, so yeah, really, really happy. And hopefully they will have a good life out there. Um, for, you know, I don't think they live very long as butterflies, but... Hopefully they enjoy the remaining time they have out in the wild, enjoying the sun, enjoying the good weather. So yeah, I hope I hope you've enjoyed the uh, the journey as much as I have. And um, unfortunately, I didn't get nice footage of the butterflies because I forgot my memory card. But I got some awesome, awesome footage, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. So thanks for watching, and until next time, I'll see you out there. Was, uh, that was harder than I thought it was going to be, saying goodbye to the, to the butterflies. <laughs> 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 <laughs>